what does mop means and why do you find it more effective than other approaches? Yeah, perfect. So it's a good segue because we were just talking about Dr. O'Regan, who, whose research we based our work on. And so MOP stands for the Modified O'Regan Protocol. So Dr. O'Regan was the first to discover this association between rectal dilation, when kids put off pooping, and bladder overactivity, which is a bladder squeezing when you don't want it to. And he developed a protocol where he used a daily enema, sounds aggressive, but it was very effective, to empty the rectum in these kids that had gotten backed up. And it makes really good sense because he's treating the cause right at the source. And he has excellent success rates early on. I was like anybody else. I was a little bit afraid to use enemas, but I oral laxatives and found out that enemas were more effective. And so we do have a protocol based on daily enema use, much like Dr. Regan. I think at this point, we've seen more patients than he ever saw. So that's why we've had to modify it a bit for the more severe cases. Also, he, you know, he only treat bedwetting. We treat daytime wetting, poop accents all the same. And the other causes that get kind of attributed to bedwetting are almost like flat earth theories, uh, not to make fun of anyone, but you know, they seem like they would be the cause, right? Because sure, the earth seems flat, but it's not. Sure, these kids seem very tired, they're hard to wake up. Sure, they seem like they're peeing a lot. And that all has ancillary roles in whether or not the bladder is going to squeeze, but they're not the root cause. So you can look at it like a pyramid. The base of the pyramid is the fecal retention or constipation. And then on top of that, you can modify their sleep or modify their fluid intake to maybe get them drier faster. But until you fix the root cause, you won't have a good lasting cure.